What's up? This is Red's College Football Review. And on this episode, I'm going to be talking about week three in college football. But before we get into a rundown of what's going on in week three, I'm going to uh, have a review of what happened in week two. Of course, the big story in week two in college football was um, Texas going up to Ann Arbor and making the big house their house as they uh, dominated the defending national champion, the Michigan Wolverines. Uh, the Wolverines have a lot of things to solve. They couldn't get nothing going on offense, and they couldn't stop the Longhorns on defense. But um, Texas is, is legit. They look good on both sides of the ball, and um, they'll definitely be a team to watch in the SEC as they compete for the uh, SEC crown in their first season. They definitely um, will give Alabama and Georgia. Well, Alabama doesn't play them, but they do play Georgia. They'll um, – be a factor in one of the teams that's going to represent, um, one to re- be one of the representatives in the SC championship game. That that looks very likely for the Longhorns. And um, another thing that happened in week number two was um, Northern Illinois went into South Bend and beat Notre Dame, and that was a Matt School's first win versus a top ten opponent. And the Huskies are ranked this week. So um, congratulations once again to the North um, Northern Illinois Huskies on that big accomplishment. And uh, we had another big game, non-conference game um, in Charlotte, the Duke Mayo's Classic. It was between Tennessee and North Carolina State, and the Volunteers looked good in that one as they dominated the Wolfpack. We had a rivalry of Redoux, um, which was Colorado versus Nebraska, which dates back to the old Big 8. Then carried over to the Big 12, and uh, once um, Nebraska went to the Big 10, and Colorado went to the Pac-12, it ended. But they um they played this past weekend, and Nebraska looked real good in that one. They definitely have a um, good quarterback. That's been their problem in the past, and Matt Rule has his program looking good at Lincoln. And I definitely think that the Corn Hustlers will be a team that will contend for the Big 10 championship along with USC and Ohio State. Um, but like I say, Michigan has some problems. We'll see if they can fix those, what they'll do. And um, they have to keep an eye on Penn State, of course. They'll be another factor in the Big Ten. Now on to week number three. There's uh, only two ranked versus ranked matchups in week three. And the first one is on Friday night. A big showdown in the Big 12 between newcomer Arizona, which is ranked number 20, and uh, Kansas State, which has been a pretty consistent program over the past few years. And uh, they come in number 14, so that's a big game. Like I said, that's on Friday night. And on Saturday, um, surprisingly, the good Boston College team uh, will play Missouri, and uh, Missouri uh, has hopes of making the playoffs in the SEC. The ACC um, is – pretty wide open under Miami. It'd it probably be tough for them to get more than one team in, and Miami is head and shoulders above the other teams, but Boston College um, might um, be the team to play them in the AC championship game. They have a shot at that, so it'll be interesting to see how things shake out in the, um, in the ACC. And um, we have another big Big Ten versus ACC matchup. Uh, Alabama looks to rebound after their sluggish performance for three quarters against South Florida. Uh, hopefully the offensive line will be healthy, and uh, we'll see how they do as they go up to Madison to face the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badgers haven't looked great, but um, they have a, one of the best environments in college football, and they um, traditionally run the ball really well. So Alabama really had to bring their A game to stop the run. So it'll be interesting to see how that Big Ten SEC showdown all turns out because all kinds of football fans know it's, it's all about bragging rights between the SEC and the Big Ten, uh, who is the best conference in football. So we'll see how that one turns out. Uh, once again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, um, to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and give me a like. And until next time, I'm signing off.